Okay, this is a video that we're going to create to help guide us through how to create a five number summary using the graphing calculator. Um, please note that if there is also a website link at the bottom of the suggested homework, that if you don't have a graphing calculator, that you could do the same thing with the website, and it's pretty self explanatory. So there's not any keystrokes or anything, and they have directions on the page. All right, so here we go. Um, let's go back to my home screen and let's pull up my graphing calculator. All right, so. Uh, if, if you, you know you've never done this before and you can watch this video and that'll be great but then you still gotta write on the step by step so I want to show you that if you do guided solution um, and I'll have to keep popping that up sorry um, it says the five number summary consists of the min the quartile one the median the quartile three and the maximum okay so we're gonna put some data into list one okay so here's my keystroke commands so they said we're going to hit the stat key. We're going to hit number four. And we're going to hit second one because you get L1 and press enter. So what I just did right there is all I was doing was clearing my list out. So that way there wasn't any data in list one. Okay, so now it says, okay, now to access list number one, we're going to press stat and choose number one. At this point, go ahead and once all the data has been entered, press second mode to exit the screen. So we're going to enter the data. So we say 3.9, enter, 13.8, enter, 19.8, enter, 10.3, enter, 7.6, enter, 16.8, enter and 4.7 enter now if you notice it says um, list 1 8 that means that this item right here which we don't have would be the eighth item so we can count our numbers 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so I have seven items here I have seven numbers in my data set so they say go ahead and press second mode you'll notice second and mode if you notice here in blue it says quit that takes you back to the home screen Okay, next command is, they said you're going to hit stat, you're going to use the arrow over one time to go over to calculate. And what we're calculating here is called one variable statistics. This is just like if you're going to use a graphing calculator to find the standard deviation and the um, standard deviation and uh, mean, the mean and standard deviation, excuse me. So I press enter. And it says, well, what do you want to take that, you know, so it says, okay, so we, uh, It actually says that we're supposed to scroll down. No, then hit one and press enter. Scroll down to the end of the descriptive list. Descriptive list. Let's see what else we have here. All right. So. Okay. Next command is we click next, and what they didn't tell us there is is that once it says scroll down and they missed a step there is when I was kind of boggled on there. If now what you have to do is you have to enter L1. So if you just press enter again it's the same thing it, it, by default it puts L1 I'm gonna go back and show you though if I did stat over to calc one variable statistics and you see how L1 is down here at the bottom of the screen above the one key if you hit second L1 so that's saying I want to take the one variable statistics of list number one I press enter and it gives me the same numbers now you'll notice on this screen right here what we'll see is is that X bar is called the mean um, that's the sum. There's my standard deviation and my population standard deviation. If I arrow down, there's my min, my quartile one, my median, my quartile three, and my max. So if I was a real quick, um, if I was to think about having a box plot here, you know, I could put those numbers in. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, my min is 3.9. Let me pause for a second. Okay, sorry about that. I had to write those numbers down. Uh, so my minimum or my low value is 3.9. My quartile one is 4.7. My median, my middle number is 10.3. My quartile three or the three quarters of my data is 16.8. And my maximum or my high number is 19.8. And you can see we got those all right. 
interquartile range. Your interquartile range is calculated by taking your Q3, which is 16.8, and subtracting your Q1, which is 4.7. When you do that, you should come out with 12.1. Um, and there we go. So that's how we used our graphing calculator to find um, what's called our five number summary.